Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. In the last episode, we explored the, uh, well, Arch Dragon Peak. I almost said a Dragon Area, but that's the wrong area in the wrong game. Now, there's a bunch of things that I did not do within Arch Dragon Peak because, well, I am technically not strong enough to have an easy time there. So, some extra treasure, and basically an NPC, and another boss will be done for later. <laughs> Fantastic! On the plus side, we are slowly getting out of areas that I uh, can't stop putting off. Mainly Lothar Castle and the DLC. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. <laughs> Oh, I need that. Okay, so I got two destinations that I can do. I could either head up to Lothar Castle or we can explore the Untended Graves. Let's go talk to Patches and see if he has a question for us or not. If he doesn't, then we'll just move on. Well, look at you, the luckiest man in the world. I just got hold of some truly fine treasure. For you, I'll practically give it away. <laughs> you don't say. Hidden blessing. See, you got anything else for me? A parrying dagger. Alluring skulls. We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> Now, just wait. That's the best you can do. Bloody hell! <laughs> Keep those purse strings nice and tight. So tight they choke you. Oh, Patches, you are just an aggressive merchant, aren't you? Well, okay, nothing new. Okay. Whee! Alright, time for us to head to the Untended Graves, since that place is uh, small, short, and easy enough to get to. Time for us to explore Dark Tutorial Zone. This will be fun. Shriving Stone, wonderful. Let's see, uh, we could go left or we go right. Ah, going left will get us back to the coffin that we woke up from. And there's enemies surrounding it and item. Come on, big boy. You know you want to. Right in your spine. Oh yeah, sure. The enemy can hit me as I'm getting up, but they I can't hit them. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. Rules for thee, but not for me. Anyway, what's the sad sack doing in my coffin? Ashen Estus Ring. Gray crust yeah. Gray crystalline ring crafted from shards. Increases FP restored by Ashen Estus Flask. Once a treasure brought before Lothric's Queen, she had enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves, so that one day an unkindled might profit from its use. Interesting, how'd she know? Yeah, basically increases FPS restored from Ashen Flask. Something I'll never use. Mainly because, well, I never have enough FP to justify using it. If I was doing full on spells, then yeah, I would definitely use that ring a lot. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. Okay, so, so, so far. Whoa! Okay, 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 boys. Let's talk about this.
Okay, well, obviously, I'm in a bad spot. I gotta deal with these fuckheads constantly running after me. Did I really just give them the slip? Fuck you, Fido. Tight night chunk. Take a swig. Okay, so I think I gave the Grave Wardens a slip. Whoa, fuck it. Where'd you come from? Fucking dogs. I'm busy collecting fucking chunks up in this bitch, and yet you come out of nowhere and try to kill me? Go fuck yourself. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the uh, crystal lizard area. Indeed there is. Oh, there's two of them here. Nice. Am I ever going to use him? No. Whoa, roly-poly, calm down. And you're dead. Tight, two Titanite scales. I always gotta be careful with that one. Because that hitbox is wonky sometimes. Nice try. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. And you're dead. Paul, you're almost dead. No, you're dead. Hooray, more Titanite scales for weapons I'm never going to use. And unfortunately, that's it over here. No extra ring, no extra treasure. Nah, just uh, four Titanite scales. And let's equip my... Where's my... There it is. And I'm equipping this for a reason. Now, I gotta be careful, because I don't know if the Grave Wardens came back to their original spawn point, so... Oh, wait, they did. I'm just gonna get away from them before they decide to jump me and be a bunch of dicks. Let's see, is there a bonfire up here? Where's that gone? It's gone. And there's gonna be... Oh wait, I'm not in human form and it wouldn't matter anyway. Never mind. Because there's usually an NPC invader that shows up here. Nice try, boys. Nice try. Ooh, an item. What do we got here? Now that one I deserved. I deserved that one. All that for a hidden blessing. Well, I you can't say greed does not get punished in this game. You cannot say that greed does not get punished. Okay. Well then, um, we got the fire on, so let's, uh, flame up. Yeah, aggro one of you bitches. Alright, that takes care of you. Titanite Chunk, you love to see it. Okay, so these guys dropped chunks, which is nice. I can farm up from you. 
Well, let's just run on through here so I don't have to deal with the fucking dogs and the other warden. Okay, and a large side night shard. Hey, I even got my Estus back. Eat that, you prick. Ah, oh, cool, my souls are all the way over there. God damn, you guys do too much damage for what you are. Seriously, you guys are basic bitch weak enemies. How are you doing that much damage to me? Oh wow, another sacred chime for the collection. Nice try. You wanna try it again? Oh, miserable little fuck bucket. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, for. Jackasses, a lot of you. Piss off and just die. Eat it, you dick. Who can I summon here? Ah, oh, the Swordmaster. <laughs> One of the two bosses he can actually be summoned for. If you don't uh, discount the uh, glitchy, buggy version that was the initial release of Dark Souls 3, where you could summon him for the dancer and he could just solo her for some reason. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, you boys are persistent. I will give you that. Ow! And very annoying to fight, I will give you that. How are there still some of you alive? Enjoy the sword in your back. Any other dipshit want to come out and try to take a swing at me? Anyone else? That's what I thought. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, now, do I summon the Swordmaster for this fight? Do I really need him is the question. No, we don't. We don't need him for this fight at all. Because, uh, as you can see, we're fighting Gundir again. Only this time, Gundir here is a lot tougher than he, actually, than he was before. For one, he doesn't have a sword sticking out of him. Two, he's not corrupted. The downside of the of everything I just said means that he has a better move set. Ow. He's known as Champion Gundir, and he just kicked me in the face. And I just got grabbed because I rolled into it. Now he's serious. Nice try. Oh, that was a bad time to heal. I should have rolled away a couple a bit more. I should have healed away a bit more. I mean rolled away a bit more, not healed away. 
But hey, on the plus side, I did better than I thought I would. How many chunks do I have? Three. And I think I need uh one or two more. So uh, let's get them. Nice try. Okay. Large Titanite Shard. Now, unfortunately for me, farming you guys is going to be a pain in the ass since there's no quick access bonfire. Now, grant I could just, you know, buy the chunks, but that's expensive. I don't like paying for expensive upgrades. Not if I can help it. Okay, now we have a bit of a problem. Can you guess what it is? It's getting through all these fuckers without using much Estus at all. And I remember you, dickhead. And later, boys. Hey, Gunder, I'll be taking my stuff back. Thank you. I think lightning might actually be, good, be uh, better for this fight, but... Uh... Whoa! I did not expect a combo. Oh, I fucking hate his stupid delayed swings. They're so annoying to deal with. Okay, he's at 50. Oh yeah, I forgot he does combos now. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck your kicks. Okay, I'm pretty sure I was rolling, but whatever you say, game. Hmm. I wonder if I'm a little bit uh, weaker than I should be for fighting against Gundir. Once again. Okay, well, obviously fire isn't doing that much damage to him. Um, let's try... Okay, if fire's not gonna work, then we'll try out lightning and dark next. Actually, I have a, I have a good idea. We'll see how many uh, chunks it takes to upgrade my sword. If it takes uh, a few more, then I'll just fight Gundir. If I'm like one off, then I'll just uh, get that real fast. Because every upgrade helps. Let's see, how many more chunks? Three. Never mind. Oh yeah. That's going to make it a plus nine, which means I can just immediately upgrade it to a plus ten, because I still have a slab. Alright. In that case, uh, and... It doesn't, it's not going to really work, so... 10k, that's gonna be at least one. Ah. No, it is not. Knowest thou of that soppy gossip? 
that cordial intrusion lay at the path, and so thou art in need of a soapstone, ashen one. I don't think I've talked to her at all. Then thy pockets will owe her. Oh, you're just a greedy fucking bitch, aren't you? I don't think I've talked to her once this entire game. Oh well. Ashen one. Ma. Okay, we're gonna try dark first. Eliminate the uh, busted element first. Well, I say busted, but uh, let's just say uh, the elemental damage types are a lot more balanced in three than they were in two at the start. I think. For all I know, I could be talking out of my ass. Because I have a habit of never playing any of the Souls franchise at the uh, starting point. I always come in later. For example, with Dark Souls 1, I came in at patch uh, 1.05 and Demon Souls at the same time. So basically, I got them both on the same day at GameStop, and let me tell you, that, that was a fun experience, playing both of those back to back. I think I've already said that, but, uh, you know. Dark Souls 2, I played the base game a little bit when it first came out, but I didn't really go hard in on it. Well, actually, I'm not sure if it was uh, right as it came out. I forget what patch it was, but I only really sunk my teeth into Dark Souls 2 when Scholar of the First Sin came out. And Dark Souls 3, well, I only g got Dark Souls 3 after all the DLC was released with uh, the... Fire Fade Edition, which is the uh, compilation on PlayStation 4. And now I'm playing it on PC, so funny how the world uh, goes around. Well, plus, well, uh, I'd rather be uh, dealing with my, fe my PC being a fucking uh, jet plane rather than my PS4, thank you very much. Then again, my PS4 is an original model, so, uh, gotta make do. Okay. Still, though, I did better than I thought I would. Shoot ha! Later. Later, dickheads. I picked a bad time to do that. Okay, that seems to be doing less damage. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing that happens on that one. But hey, at least you're finally watching me get my ass kicked by bosses now. So hey, you finally get to see me struggle for a bit for once. Isn't that a good thing to watch? Ow. Yeah, it's a good thing I healed up because now he's in sick phase. Okay. I really am going to have to summon up help, aren't I? Because this is getting ridiculously annoying. Okay, so dark wasn't doing that much better. Lightning it is. And since this place is so small, I can actually get rid of homework for something else. Tune spell, drop this, and drop this. I'm gonna get rid of these fucking fucking great. I'm just gonna kill these grave warrens right quick. Okay, and we'll put this over here. Yeah, I know I can't wield in two hands. Shut up. Equip. 
Equip this. Equip this. And we're going to equip this. This is so I can get rid of these idiots. And get, probably get some good loot out of it. Keyword, hopefully. Alright, let's see how much damage this does to you. About half. I don't like it when you do that. Don't dodge my attacks, you fucking dingleberry. Wow, I get the robe and a large titanite shard. Just what I never wanted to have. Thanks. I might as well use this. Oh, that's where you are. So that's where you are. Man, I am just rolling all over the place with cute inputs, I swear to god. Oh my god, can we hit the dog? Can we fucking R1 spam the dog correctly, game? Please, for the love of god! They're right there. How hard is it for me not to be in range? And where the fuck do you come from? Dodge these. Asshole. Man, if it wasn't the fucking dogs, it's the goddamn fucking wardens. Anyway, swig up. Well, now that's done. I can swap back to other things. Like the lightning ring. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, lingering? I thought something was off. And... The sword ring is nice, but I really don't stay far enough... Far enough? Long enough with that for that to actually matter. Uh, we're gonna go with... Chloranthi to offset the regen from my Silver Knight armor. Okay, now we're just going to clear everything out first. Let's do the smart thing. Yay, another Sacred Chime I can get rid of. Let's do the smart thing, where I clear out all the enemies, summon up the Swordmaster, he distracts Gundir as I lay down the DPS parade. That is if I can get to him without dying to fucking bandit knives. What the fuck? Why are these guys hitting like fucking trucks with a shitty weapon? Fuck you, asshole. Dickbag. Seriously, the bandit knife wielding assholes are more deadly than the goddamn long swords. How the fuck does that work? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Then we got the cunts with the fucking spear. Oh. Fuck you. You goddamn English crossbowman in the background. Oh, bullshit, you fucking cunt. You're making me waste my goddamn... Fuck off. You don't drink in front of me, you son of a bitch. You die. Stand there and take your death like a fucking man, you worthless little shit. Fuck you. Fuck you too. And especially, fuck this cunt. Assholes. A lot of you are nothing but giant fucking cocks. That I am going to cut into tiny little pieces. And feed to your dogs. Fucking hell. Well, I just got extremely frustrated. <laughs> I wonder why. Still, though, it's been a long time since I've had such a fucking problem with a boss. And it's Gundir, of all things. Well, Champion Gundir actually earns the fucking name. His normal form does not. Anyway, what was I looking up? Oh yeah, I was going to look up uh, if uh, Gundir here is weak to anything. Well, that works, I guess. 
Champion Gundir, who is technically the next boss after Osiris, or Osiris. Because the Ancient Wyvern's a gimmick and not an actual boss fight. Yeah, because Champion Gundir, the boss in the Arch Dragon Peak, and after that, there's three more bosses in the base game. So, all in all, I got five bosses left in base Dark Souls 3 to kill. Fantastic. Then I can move on to the DLC. Okay, Gundir, are you weak to anything in specific? Lightning. You're weak to fucking lightning. Of course. Of course you are. The la the freaking last element I'm going to try, and the one I summon up the fucking Swordmaster for, is the one... Yeah, yeah, let's go. I got 8 S this flash. This will be fun. Okay, I disagree with that one. Swordmaster here has a lot more HP than you think. Wait, can Gundar even bleed? He can, actually. That's funny. Oh, he's pissed. Here's the fun thing about Gundir. He can actually be parried, too, for some reason. Don't worry, Swordmaster, you got this. As I fucking buff up. Nice try. I am not getting killed from that, thank you very much. Fuck you! Asshole. That's a hard when your fucking attention is distracted by two different people. Eat a dick, Gundir. <sighs> Good lord, that was tougher than it had any right to be. Of course, that's what I get for fucking around trying to remember if this guy is weak to fucking fire or dark or electric or magic. Oh, we get the Black Knight Glaive here. God damn, Dark Souls, you really don't want people to be wandering around with this at the start of the game, do you? Any Black Knight weapon was broken at the start of Dark Souls 1, you can only arguably get two, technically three, at the start. Okay, so that's basically the same. Okay, that's basically the same. Although I don't remember if the second R2 of uh, this weapon in Dark Souls 1 had the spin. Okay, that's bi Yeah. It's a- Yeah, this is the same Black Knight Halberd as Dark Souls 1. Even though it's now called a proper- It's proper fucking name as a glaive. Thank God. Glaive of the Black Knights who wander the lands used to face chaos demons. The unique attack of this glaive greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fiercely faced. Spin to win is the skill. Fantastic. Anyway, Gundir dropped his soul. Let's read it. Soul of the champion Gundir. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Once, a champion came late to the festivities and was greeted by a shrine without fire and a bell that would not toll. Well, let's see. We're in the untended graves. It's pitchably black. We have to fight Gundir again. Only this time, he is 
a lot more able. And actually able to put up a massively decent fight. Arguably harder when you do it by yourself. Well, what am I saying? Of course it's gonna be harder when you do it by yourself. Even with the even with the unnecessary wait, unnecessary. Even when he does not have the HP buff that summoning provides him. He's tough for a solo because he all of his rage and aggro is on you rather than on somebody else. Which makes fighting any aggressive enemy really fucking difficult because you can't back off and heal when you desperately need to. Anyway, now for the real enemies of the area. The Black Knights. Oh boy. Now we gotta deal with these guys. Now if I could get some of their armor pieces, I'd be fa I'd be fucking good. S what's up, uh, hey, what's up? Well, you guys don't hit as hard as you used to. Ow. But you still slam me into the ground with those. Oh, good, there's more. Oh, great, the great sword is drained. Yeah. The ultra great sword has joined the chat. Unfortunately, I'm more used to fighting you than I am your other brothers. And you guys are still just restless spirits. You don't have a body. Because unlike the Silver Knights who uh, drop dead as a ragdoll, you guys just disappear. So these guys are just the restless spirits of the Black Knights. The Silver Knights are the real deal, which is... Funny, considering that the Silver Knights in Dark Souls 1 were illusions. Huh. Interesting implications, I would say. Though I would argue uh, having uh, Dark and Orlando in Dark Souls 1 be filled with Silver Knights is a lot more terrifying. Than having nothing at all. Now, could you guys eventually be so kind as to give me your stuff? I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, what do we got here? The Chaos Blade. Why is it here? I don't know. A uh, cursed sword of an unknown origin bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. All attacks also damage its wielder, making it fucking pointless. The sword is not unlike a thing misshapen, granted light, but never welcome this world. In other words, chaos itself. Okay, can't go in there. Can't really go into a lot of places in this version of uh, Firelink Shrine because, well, it's dark. Duh. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. I love getting Souls of Crestfallen Knights. Okay, nothing here. Here is another axe murder. The Hornet Ring is here. Okay, the Hornet Ring being in Firelink Shrine, dark version anyway, makes no fucking sense as opposed to uh, fucking Irithyll. Because Irithyll has the fucking obviously fucking Sif boss room gravesite in it. That was the wrong time to heal. While this place all it has is Hawkwood's uh, gravestone. Well, I say Hawkwood's, but this is where he planted his sword in the ground and his shield. Seriously, why the fuck does Hawkwood's grave have the fucking Hornet Ring when it should have been in Irithyll? That's This is one thing I am confused on as to why. 
I mean, the Hornet Ring does what it always does. Boost, parries, and reposts. Ring associated with the Lord's Blaine Kirin, one of the four knights of Gwyn the First Lord. Boost critical attacks. The Mask Kirin was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's four knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. Alright, we've got an almost... Okay, we're halfway through all the knights' rings. We just need Goth and Artorius. Well, Artorius, we're not going to get the base version because I am not farming out fucking Covenant items for it. Fuck that. We're going to get the improved version in a later. And I will say, seeing Firelink Shrine in Perpetual Black is, uh, terrifying. Okay, nothing up here. Seriously. I get that uh, these games don't have music for ambiance purposes, but they really need them. They need them a lot more. What do we have here? Coiled Sword Fragment. We have the thing that we never need Homeward for, or Homeward Bones. Now then, where is it? There it is. Return to the last bonfire rest set or at a shrine. Nick straight from Dark Souls 2. Fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire which served its purpose long ago. Returns caster to the last bonfire used for resting or to the bonfire in Final Week Shrine. Can be used repeatedly. Bonfires are linked to one another irre irreversibly, retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. And if I remember correctly, there's literally nothing else in here for us except for one other thing. Well, two other things, really. Or a couple, I forget. Hello! Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? You want to explain where we are? To skirt the curse's grasp. Tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> Uh, what poor girl is that? To skirt the cut hat is dull, like the- <laughs> Alright, what do you sell? You sell Artorius' armor, the dried finger, some embers, repair powder, prism stones, the white sign soapstone, and the priestess ring. Bringing grade with a portrait of the high priestess increases faith. In Lothric, the high priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule. The high priestess was al also served as the prince's wet nurse. This increases our faith. We don't need it. We can get two of these in a single playthrough, actually. Best not tarry long. <laughs> uh huh. Let's see. We're in a place where the bell's never tolled. It's dark. Fire's fading time, as she says. Blacksmith hammer. Thanks, Andre. So we are either in the past or an alternate timeline. And I say the past because the world's dark, there's no bells, even though that really does not make any sense at all. Oh wait, there's one other place I need to go check, and that's up here. Which me leads me to believe this is an alternate timeline where the bells never told, therefore no unkindled came up to uh, basically kill the lords of Cinder, and the world basically died out. Or at the very least, the fire faded. Can I open this? No, I cannot. I could have sworn... Wait a minute, I think I know where it is. I think I know where the item I'm thinking of... Uh, where's that control... Oh, there we go. 
in a different fucking menu. Damn it. Ooh, so close. Damn it. Sometimes I can just get this on the first try, even though the angle's off. Shit. There's one item I need to get here. Which is necessary for one of the endings if I choose to do so. And I don't think it's... There we go. Made it. Alright, moving on. There's literally nothing up here. I think. Because Snuggly the Crow does not talk. We got the Chaos Blade. We got the Blacksmith Hammer. There's one other fucking item around here that I want to get before I leave. But I don't remember where it is. Even though I should. Considering I get it every single fucking time I come through here. Oh, cool, the illusionary wall's still all gone. Okay, got that. Okay, is it over here, right? Is it over here, by chance? No. Did I miss something here? Because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an item for me to grab up in here. Okay, what the fuck? How am I missing this something this obvious? How am I missing something this fucking obvious? Okay, um, well. We want to have, uh, key items. Because apparently I missed something here. Here we are. Aha! I knew I was missing something. There's a fucking illusionary wall around here. It's like, wait a minute. I remember getting this item several times. How am I forgetting this? Oh yeah, there's a wall in the way. And I believe it's actually this one. There we go. Because, like, wait a minute. Wasn't this corridor a lot longer? Eyes of a Firekeeper. Oh boy. Now we got several items to give to the Firekeeper. Reveals the horrors to the Sightless Firekeeper. A pair of dark eyes. Said to be the eyes of the first Firekeeper and the light that was lost by all Firekeepers to come. It reveals to the Sightless Firekeepers things that they should never see. Like the truth of the world? It's almost as if linking the fire is nothing but a big sham. But that won't become obvious until, uh, the last DLC. Anyway, before we leave, we got one thing left to do. Thank you. What? I wasn't paying for that. <laughs> Okay then, we can get out of here. Fantastic. Unfortunately, Firelink Shrine does not have a bonfire we just warp out of. So, I can either spend some time grinding up to get the uh, Black Knight armor. Which I'm tempted to do because it looks cool. But I don't know if anything would actually uh, match the fucking uh, headpiece with it though. That's the thing. The whole ensemble is fantastic, but the helmet just squishes your head and there's barely anything that matches with the rest of the armor. Well, whatever I need to do, I need to head back to normal Firelink Shrine anyway. Uh, 
Okay, and we are actually gonna do some transposing, actually, because going to your soul is actually useful. Oh, look, look. Ah, and the black eyes that shimmer within, I see. Tis as if it were but yesterday. We did all we could to spare her from them. Much has happened since. Mayhap I should apprise thee of what the thin light of these eyes might reveal to the eyeless firekeeper. Scenes of betrayal. Things never intended for her ken. Visions of this age's end. Thanks for telling me. The eyes show a world destitute of fire. A barren plain of endless darkness. A place born of betrayal. So, I willed myself, Lord, to link the fire to paint a new vision. What is thine intent? Uh, to be the Lord of Hollows and basically tell the gods to fuck off. Okay, but Gundir, so we can make the prisoner's chain or the or Gundir's halberd. Halberd of Gundir the champion received when he was charged with his duty. This old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble. Seeming to suggest that Gundir was fated to eternal service from the beginning. Portion of a steel chain used to restrain Gundir. Gain vigor, endurance, vitality, but take extra damage. A prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief. A proclivity most apparent in the greatest of champions. And we're gonna take this. Now, now. Alrighty then. We're going to... Let's see here. Let's see our stats. Where's the where's the chain? Where's the chain? Where's the chain? Where's the ch there's the chain. Okay, 28. Let's see, 20, 25, 15. Yep, plus five to everything. And then we take less absorption, but uh, downsides our main defenses increase actually. So this ring is actually this ring is actually very useful. I'll take it. And we'll use this as well. Let's, um... Do I level up or not? Oh, questions, questions. Welcome, us. I have things to give you. Here, have a Firekeeper soul. Ashen One, this is... Much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Fire keepers now able to heal the dark sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Now we can spend souls to basically de hollowfy ourselves. We also could have given it to uh, Irina over there after we bought every single miracle that we can get from her. Which will turn her into a firekeeper, which is pointless because it does nothing. Her, I, Irina has two quest lines associated with her. One, where you uh, don't give her any abyssal, pu abyssal spell at all. Because doing so and buying one from her will make her go eventually insane. And Aegon will basically try to kill us. Which is no bueno. No bueno at all. The other option is to basically buy all her miracles, never give her an abyssal miracle, and give her the firekeeper soul, which will have her become a firekeeper herself, and she'll move to the tower outside of the shrine. Kind of pointless, but uh, what can you do? Anyway, I also want to give you these eyes. Grant the sight to you. Ashen One, are these... Are these eyes? How gracious of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Just... 
Fantastic. Ashen one, my thanks for the eyes thou's given. But fire keepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen one, is this truly thy wish? Do we wish for a world without flame or decline? Well, obviously I wish for a world without flame. Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire. And I will blindly tend to the flame. Until the day of thy grand betrayal. And just like that, we now have access to all the endings at once if we choose to do so. Very well. Then touch take not. Tactically, there's a fourth ending, but that's actually a bad ending and doesn't really do anything. It's funny, though. Okay, I got enough souls to level up twice, and that's it. Oh, boy. Um, I guess I could start working on getting dexterity up to 40. Yeah, I might as well. Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. Cool. Ah, well, have Ashen One bring me with. Is it? <laughs> oh, shut up. And if we kill her counterpart, she should sell. Oh wait, no, she does not. Ah, well, I never wanted Otorius' stuff anyway. She now sells Gundir's armor. Ancient helm of a set of cast iron armor. That explains the lightning weakness. Belonging to champion Gundir, modeled after a former king. Demon Souls reference. Gundir, or the belated champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. He then became sheath to a coiled sword in the hopes that someday the first flame will be linked once more. So apparently, somehow, we traveled to the past. Ashen one. Huh? And... Set history in motion somehow. Ah, it is good, wasn't he? Even though technically history is just repeating itself at this point. Pretty like that. Okay, well, that's the untended graves taken care of, which means there's only one place left for us to go, and that's Lothric Castle. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGad21. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 3. In the next episode, we take on Lothric Castle. But until then. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.